Beauties when you just got out the shower Hair still dripping, wrapped up in a towel Beauties when you ready in an hour Them long legs, I call them the twin towers You put that arch in it, put your hand on your hip Put your hand up on and you guys, it's Ree. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just doing a quick get ready with me, showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup. So right now what I'm doing is just cleaning my beauty blenders and I'm using the liquid beauty cleanser that I got from Sephora. Um, you can get it from there or any other product that you use to clean your beauty blenders. And you also want to squeeze out any excess waters to make sure that the beauty blender is not too wet, but it's also not too dry. So next what I'm going to grab are my Pond's wipes. They are makeup removing wipes. You can get them from any CVS, Target, drugstore, 99 cent store. They're amazing. I'm just using them right now to wipe off any excess debris that I have on my face. So now what I'm using is the Pond's dry skin cream for my face. I use it as a moisturizer. I use it when I get out of the shower, before my routine or after, and I put it on my face before I put on any primer or any makeup. So now what I have are the NARS waxing strips, which I use to wax my mustache, which I've already completed. Now, I can start my makeup if I can find anything. I'm at my mom's house rummaging through my things. I'm going to start with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer prior to putting on any makeup. And this is about how much I use. <laughs> What I have next is the MAC lip conditioner that I use prior to putting any products on my lips. I keep it on my lips before I put on the product just to keep them soft. What I have now is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the medium to dark and the shade is caramel. I'm going to use this to conceal any blemishes and my under eye area, my chin, and a little bit of my forehead where I have some pimples because under my eyes it's kind of dark. So now that I'm done with the concealer, I'm going to start with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the neutral shade N7-8, which is a mix of classic tan and cappuccino. Usually I use the Fenty Pro Filter Longwear Foundation in 370 or the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Foundation in um, neutral classic tan N7. But I am trying this for the first time because I feel like the other two foundations that I have been using are a little bit too light for my face. So right now I'm using the Fenty Beauty, Bl Beauty Blender on the flat side to blend the foundation into my face. You want to make sure that you blend everything and shake the foundation well prior to using it you can um, go on top of your eyes i like to go on top of my eyes because i feel like on top of my eyes it's pretty light and you also want to get in your hairline and all around your face so that you don't have that circular makeup look to where it looks like oh your makeup starts here and it ends here <laughs> So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more foundation just to perfect the spots that I feel like I didn't reach and to fix anything that I feel like needs to be fixed. So to do my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in brown for this boolie and I'm going to be using the max spiked pencil as well as the nars concealer again and the anastasia dip brow pomade in medium brown
So I'm going to use the Mag Spikes pencil to go ahead and outline and kind of fill in the brows. And then I'm going to use the Dip Brow Pomade, once again, in medium brown. And I'm also going to use the Creamy Concealer to highlight and outline and give the brows a little bit more definition. <laughs> So what I like to do is make a stroke motion, like a hair stroke, instead of coloring the brows in back and forth. It gives it a different effect. Um, then I'm going to go across, the, well against the hair with the spoolie and just shade in the parts that need to be shaded in. <laughs> Well, one is clearly bigger than the other, but I'm going to use the concealer and go in and fix that. They look really dark right now, but I'm also going to fix that as well. I don't like that really, really, really dark look, um, and I also don't like a boxy look, so I'll spoolie in the front more so they look more like natural eyebrows and they don't look too dark. really dark so before I go ahead and fix that I'm just gonna use the benefit pore professional shine vanishing powder so I use it wherever I feel like I'm gonna be shiny I don't like that dewy look so I just put it under my eyes where I feel like it may crease on my eyelids and around my nose usually where I'll sweat and start to look shiny <laughs> uh, yes those are too dark so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia brush in 15 and I'm going to put the concealer around those so when I'm not being lazy, I put the brush, the concealer on the brush and then use the brush to outline my eyebrows. But I'm going to go ahead and spoolie some of that out and fix them up. Right now, I'm just outlining my eyebrows still. So once I'm done, what I do is I take the beauty blender and I just dab over where I put the concealer so I could kind of lift the product and I don't have to smudge it in as much and it blends better. <laughs> So I'm just going back in and shaping up the brows a little bit more because one is thicker than the other. When I was a kid, I shaved one off, you know, three cuts in your eyebrow, trying to weld out. Didn't really work out that well, so I'm just going to go in and fix them. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and contour and I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Trio. Um, I have the caramel that I'm going to start with and I like to rub the product on my hand because when you first go in with the product, it's kind of dry. 
So I'll rub it on my hand just to warm it up, smooth it out, and then go ahead and apply the product to my face. So what I'm doing with the caramel is I'm just going to go in and go back under my eyes because like I stated earlier, under my eyes was really dark. I'm going to hit my cupid's bow and my forehead and down my nose and the center, well, basically the center of my face and my chin where I feel like the light would be hitting me. And then I'm going to contour with the, what is this? The truffle shade from the Magic Trio. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my forehead and along the sides of my nose in order to contour my nose. And I'm also going to put it on the sides of my face. So I'm going to come from my sideburns to about the center of my cheek. The next step is to blend everything and you want to set with some powder so i'm just going to go back in with the pink beauty blender and just making sure that i blend everything pretty well so that nothing looks too bright nothing looks too dark everything just looks like it's coming along even So this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, you can use that or you can use the banana powder, the banana powder. I feel like the Laura Mercier gives you more of a white but glittery look and the banana powder makes you look a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to use the banana powder under my eyes and use the Laura Mercier on my nose. Most of the time I do the um, Laura Mercier under my nose, um, under my nose, under my eyes, but it depends on where I'm going. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna bake um, with this. I used to bake with this, but I don't really like that look anymore. I don't like that really yellowy, bright look. Um, I don't know, I just don't think it's like an everyday look. I think it's like a, if I'm going out or somewhere where the lights are gonna be flashy or dark or something like that, I'm going to a birthday dinner or something. So right now, I'm just gonna blend in the Trio Matchstick and Truffle to make sure that everything looks smooth. Gonna blend it in around my face. So once again, you wanna get in your hairline so that your makeup looks like your face and it doesn't look like makeup. This brush I'm using is once again, um, it's actually a blush brush. I got it in my brush set. My brush set, I think I got from Groupon. If they still have it available, I'll link it in the description box. The brushes are pretty cool, actually. I like them. So now what I'm doing is just blending the highlight on my forehead, the highlighted area. Then I'll go back in. So you see how my forehead doesn't look like light to dark. It just looks like one forehead. <laughs> Usually sometimes when I contour my nose, I have these little, um, you know, when you're a kid and you get those little makeup, um, like those little toy makeup palettes and they give you that little brush and it has a, two little spongy things on the end. I usually use those and I go in and blend the makeup on my nose. So I'm just going to use the translucent powder on my nose and on my forehead where I put the matchstick in caramel just to go over there so that I set the product with the powder and I don't look too bright. That's why I don't want to use the banana powder. I don't want to look yellow. Now I'm going to go in and highlight with the matchstick in the color rum and then I'll use the beauty blender and blend that in as well.
so as you can see i look really sad and dumb because <laughs> my bronzer is broken so what i use to set my truffle is the magnetic appeal extra dimension skin finish from mac and that's what i used to go over where i put the matchstick and truffle This is Maybelline's The Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I'm going to use this on my bottom lashes. When I don't have on individual lashes or strip lashes, I use this on my top and bottom as well as the Too Faced Better Than Sex Benefit They're Real and the Voluminous, which I think is by either Maybelline or L'Oreal. So those are my go-to mascaras. Now I need to do my hair, but before doing that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this makeup off of my hand and I'll be back. <laughs> yes come through style factor as control edge booster um so yeah this is my bun um this is just my everyday go-to i'll do a video on it if you guys want um so yeah the only thing i'm missing is my lipstick so i didn't take off my lip conditioner i'm just gonna go ahead and put my lipstick on top and for lipstick i'm using the cream sheen pure zen from mac see you guys thank you for watching hit like hit subscribe I'll be posting more videos. If you have anything to say, any questions or comments, please leave them below. Love you guys. See you later, friends.